Hey everybody, it's Kurt. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Neofly Multiplayer. Multiplayer is maybe not the right word. You'll understand better as we go along here though. To use this feature, you're going to need to have Neofly version 4.10 or higher. That's the version that came out on January uh, 17th of 2025. So if you've downloaded since then, you have the current version. To create multiplayer jobs, you need to have the airlines perk, but anybody can accept multiplayer jobs, which is actually kind of a cool thing. This is going to be a really quick video. The intent is just to show you how to use the feature. I'm not going to get into trying to review it right now. As always, remember that my Neofly videos are just to help you out. I do not work for Neofly, and if you need help, you can contact them via their Discord, which I'll have a link to in the video description. Also worth pointing out that I'm not paid for this video or any of my Neofly content and about all my Neofly uh, products myself. What this feature does is it allows you to create jobs from your airline that can be flown by other players. The other players, like I said before, don't need to have the airline perk. And again, I think that's a really actually kind of cool feature of the thing. Money earned from the missions is paid out to both the person who posted it and the person who did it. And it's not splitting the money. It's giving both of you the full reward amount. That turns it into a, a way to make great money if you have the airline perk. Also keep in mind, this is the initial release of the feature. I expect there will probably be more options added to it in the future. Uh, one that I could think of that I think would be very popular would be if you could share missions with specific friends or like within a VA, something like that. I'm, I'm not sure how that could be implemented, but it would, be, it would certainly be cool, right? For now, all public missions are available to anyone to fly. So let's look at, have a look at how all that works. If you're new to Neofly or to the airlines perk specifically, I have another video that gets into how to set up an airline and how to do uh, hubs and lines and all the things that come into, into play as we're setting up this multiplayer thing. So um, if you don't already know that stuff, you might want to check that video out first. Basically, in order to create multiplayer missions, you need to have a hub for your airline and that hub needs to have a manager to create the jobs. And you should have some hub lines set up. Um, those can be out and back or one way. So anyway, when you come into uh, Neofly, you're going to see that there's a new slider in your airline panel right here. So when you come in, it'll look like this. And I think it's a little odd because it has the little public thing on this side, but this is the off position for the switch. So Neo, if you're watching, you might want to flip things around here. Anyways, when the switch is activated, the, the dot will become blue, right? And it changes the list down here. So this goes from being your list of hub lines to being your list of jobs. These are all the jobs that the managers created for the lines that you have. Uh, the ones here with the hourglass are ones that I've already shared to public. And the way you share one is simply select the one that you want to share and you can do any one of them. You can do all of them, whatever you like, select the ones that you're, or select the one that you're interested in and click this button here and that will upload it to the service, right? So that's out there now, and anybody who owns Neofly with or without the airline perk can use the feature of coming in here to, uh, to have a look at it or to fly it for you. Coming back to this little globe, if you click on this, it opens the Neofly uh, interface that shows where all the public jobs are in uh, real time. So this is the website that it opened up and you can see it's got all these jobs. These are all player jobs that are available. This map just shows you where, where they are. You can't select them and do them from here, but this is my job. It, it's from uh, Redding down to Sacramento, California. It will give you the details in here on the airport uh, if you need those, but you can't start the job from here. This is just a reference. So once you've done that, that's the whole first half of the process. You've created a job, you've shared it to the public. That's the part that belongs uh, to the airline perk only. And that's all you need to do to set up these jobs. People will run them. You'll make money. It's as simple as that. Uh, but let's take a look at what it looks like if you're not the guy who owns the airline perk or if you're not the guy who owns the job. Actually, this is a good opportunity for me to show something that I think is a misunderstood feature of Neofly, which is employees. Employees are separate from uh, your pilots that you have. You, know, you may have the pilots perk. Um, those are your AI pilots. Employees are actually you. So what you use employees for is say you've got your... Uh, your your job your main guy set up in at some airport somewhere and you've been flying you know in that region for months and months and months and you're getting tar tired of looking at it and you want to fly in some other part of the world but you don't want to pay to move a guy you know halfway around the world so that you can fly over there what you can do is use an employee and the way you create an employee at the bottom of the Neofly window on the uh, icons along the left hand side there you've got the very bottom one is log out so you'll click log out 
And that'll take you back to this, uh, you know, the main sign on screen. And from here, I've actually got this employee that I already set up, but let me show you how you do it. So, um, like creating any other pilot, you go into the little add pilot icon and in here you'll select instead of career mode, you're going to go to employee mode, select the version of Microsoft flight simulator. You want it to have that of course sets up the initial aircraft for you and everything. And then you tell it which one of your guys you want to tie it to. You come in here and you can, this is where you decide which company you have that you want the employee to be attached to. So I'm going to attach to this one. Uh, so you would pretend that that's your normal main guy, for instance. Give your new guy a, job, a name and tell him, you know, where he's going to be based out of. So we'll, we'll put him at, uh, at Reading because that's where I know the job is. And then I would click create pilot and that'll put him into the game. Now, like I mentioned before, I already have test guy set up. So we'll just go back to that. So here's test guy. He's already at Reading. Okay. So now we're in here as test guy. Test guy is attached to my Kurt account and he needs an airplane. He has some capability to rent himself an airplane or do any of that kind of stuff you need to, but, but the employee character is not the same as your main character. So be aware that there may be functions of NeoFly that aren't available to your employee that are available to your main. Put your employee in the plane. And when I come in here now, I've got this guy in airplane and um, he's ready to fly some missions. And normally when you first come in, you're going to have this slider again, and this controls the multiplayer jobs. So you, this is the normal job list. If I click that, it gets rid of the normal uh, generated jobs and it gives you the multiplayer jobs that are available at this airport. So these are the jobs that I shared from my main account. And this pilot can now select these and fly them like any normal job. So again, if you, if you don't have the perk and you just want to fly some missions, this works just like flying normal miss missions within NeoFly, except if you know your friend is posting jobs for you out of wherever, you could go there, turn this on, get this list, load your guy a job, and go fly it. Okay, pilot, that's the last of the crate secured and the cargo door is closed and latched. You are cleared to taxi. Pilot from dispatch, fly safe. Bye, pilot. Cargo unloading. Transporter. Another cargo mission completed. Thanks, and see you soon. All right, so that's the mission complete. And uh, we can see in NeoFly down here, we've got all our bonuses and everything, just like if we had flown any other mission. I used some uh, I used some time compression to speed things up a bit, but it looks like we got our payment of ten thousand five hundred and thirty, which we should see pretty much the same thing when we go back to my main account that posted the the multiplayer flights. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so to do that, we're gonna sign out, and we're gonna sign in on my main guy, and I think you have to go into here. No, maybe not to see the payment. Oh, actually, yeah, so we're seeing that these are being completed. I didn't do all of those. I wonder if that's a bug. Oh no, it's showing the same one multiple times for some reason. I'll mention that to them. Actually, we got paid for it multiple times too. So there's a little bug there. I'll need to report to them, but uh, there you go. So on my main guy account, I've got my payment for the job completed. So that's it. Very simple for now. Again, I'd like to see some further custom customization options for you know friends or for VA, but like I said, I'm not really sure how that would work in, in uh, NeoFlyer if it's even possible. I just think it'd be a cool idea. But the basic framework is there and it's all in place. So anyhow, that's it for now. And if you're new to NeoFly, I have other videos that might help you along. I'll uh, make sure some links to those pop up in here and I'll put them in the description as well. A couple of them are rather old, so you may notice that the user interface has changed a bit, but they should help you to get the basic ideas anyhow. So that's it. Take care. I'll see you in the next one.